Hello guys, I'm Pickles Parker, and today I will be giving you a collection update uh, of the items I picked up when I went to Liverpool and, and then to Cardiff. Um, enjoy! <laughs> So yes, uh, this is the uh, collection update um, to a more of a mini collection update just to show you about some of the uh, items that I picked up on my travels to Liverpool and Cardiff. So let's start off with the first item which I picked up at Liverpool. So let's start off by taking a look at the uh, scarf I picked up while I went to see the game. It was the Liverpool Legends versus the Bayern Legends, and yeah, this is a pretty nice, it's a nice scarf to put on my wall along with all the others. This, there was obviously lots of designs in, but uh, this was my uh, favourite one. And yeah, I, I do really uh, like this, um, it's uh, a knitted one, I do prefer to uh, go with the knitted ones rather than the uh, more thinner ones, I do prefer a nice knitted scarf. But uh, yeah, this is a really nice, um, and it's another scarf, I suppose, to add to my collection. Next up, the final item I got from the full um, is this. Um, it's the uh, obviously it's the program from the match I went to the Liverpool Legends versus the Bayern Legends. It's nice and big, obviously, program unit nowadays are more E3, I, I think it is, but, uh, no, E5, sorry. But, uh, this is, uh, E4, it's nice. And, uh, yeah, there's a good, uh, few things in here about the various different players and things. So, yeah, it's, uh, rather a, a nice one and definitely, um, a very nice super sized uh, program to add to my collection of all the other programs I got. I did get two other things in the Liverpool store. Uh, the uh, a Liverpool pen and um, a Liverpool notebook. Because the notebook I wrote a ton of stuff in and the pens ran out. So I thought it was always really worth showing them in this video. But uh, uh, yeah, those are the two things I uh, got from Liverpool that I'm actually going to show you on camera. And uh, yeah, uh, very nice. Moving on to the things I got from Cardiff, the first item was Doctor Who magazine. Um, I am ashamed to say that this is my first ever issue of Doctor Who magazine. Um, I know, I know, I know. Um, I, I really should have got into Doctor Who magazine a couple of years ago. Because when I was really young, I got into Doctor Who when I was seven. I was really into Doctor Who Adventures, you know, the key one. I, I grew up at that, um... Well, I think my last ever issue of Doctor Who Adventures was uh, Capaldi, the issue that commenced Into the Dalek and Robot of Sherwood, and I stopped getting it. Um, I really should have moved on to Doctor Who magazine, but I never did. Um, so I was wondering, I really want to get into it now. And I thought, when was the right issue to get it? And then I seen that uh, there was doing one... Uh, about the uh, new Target books, which is something I was really interested in. So I thought I'd uh, pick this one up as my first one. And yeah, it's really good. I've already subscribed, obviously. But uh, yeah, this is a really nice, um, nice, interesting things in there. Um, obviously, uh, to do with uh, the Target books. But there's also a bit on Sleep No More comics, a nice bit on uh, the DW uh, logo, that was obviously Matt Smith's uh, uh, logo, not so much Peter Capaldi's, they obviously modified it for his, but uh, yes, yeah, a nice bit on there, seeing as that was my first ever logo, and the logo that I first seen on packaging when I was seven, but uh, obviously, advertisement for Ravenous, but uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, a quite nice, I've already subscribed, so yeah, uh, expect more Doctor Magazine and collection updates in the future. Uh, now, uh, I, in Cardiff, there was a Waterstones, 
I went inside it. I went in there with the intention of getting one of the new Target books after I picked up the Doctor Who magazine issue. Um, but the only one they had there was City of Death. Um, I haven't actually seen City of Death. I know it's a story that is really recommended. I definitely need to see. I have actually watched part one last night. Um, so I do need to finish City of Death. But yet, so far it's a very good story. Lovely music score. But yet, I just thought, well, I, I did want one of the new series ones, really. Um, and then I seen this, which was worth the Douglas Adams adaptations of, and it was of the Pirate Planet. And I read the Shada one, I really liked that. I think I did a review of it on this channel maybe about four months ago. They really enjoyed that one. Um, it was between this and the Sea of Death Target novelization. And because it was thicker, and really I did want one of the new series ones, I decided to go for this one. And uh, yeah, I haven't actually read it yet um, because I've got all a mint back catalogue of Doctor Who books to read, but uh, uh, yeah, it looks really good, also, like I said, I really enjoyed the uh, Sharda one, but uh, uh, yeah, this looks really nice, uh, really nice uh, cover design as well, so yeah, I need to get reading that. The final thing I picked up in Cardiff was actually non-Doctor Who related, it was in the Forbidden Planet there, it was this, um, it's the Batman Chronicles Volume 6, which is basically just a collection of some of the really old um, Batman comics, all in the old style and this kind of newspaper kind of thing. Some of the Joker's first stories, some of Batman's first stories. Um, and yeah, that's really nice. Uh, I love quite some advertisement things like uh, Dark Knight Returns and The Long Halloween and Batman Year One. But uh, uh, yeah, I, I really like uh, this. I've uh, read some of the comics here. But I, I really was fascinated, especially because it's in the old style, so Batman's first comics, so the first stories with the Joker. So yeah, that was really cool to uh, read through. So, overall, I'm very happy with all the items I picked up whilst I was at Cardiff and Liverpool. I didn't pick up many items, but I'm very happy with the ones I did. I, I look very forward to flicking through that program once again, looking in that Doctor magazine, reading that Pirate Planet novelization, and reading that Batman comic uh, collection, and wearing that scarf. So, uh, yes, um, thank you for watching. Hope to see you guys in another collection update in the future. I hate to use this term, but I did vlog both uh, times I was away in both Liverpool and in Cardiff. Um, and. And it was a, a little while when I went, but the editing is taking a while. But do stick around, because so, uh, in the future, these videos will hopefully materialise in your subscription box. I can't say when, because it may take ages, but these videos will hopefully materialise. But yeah, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in another video. Whether well, that's a collection update, or another video, whatever that may be. Please like this video. Um, if you have enjoyed it, and if you want to see more content from my channel, then please hit subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and of course, okay, bye. Hello, Garen Adams. So, the Shakespeare Code. Now, this is a hidden gem of a Doctor Who story. It's a brilliant blend of a historical setting with a sci-fi threat. The direction really makes it feel like the Doctor and Martha are in Tudor, England. Speaking of the Doctor, and Martha, they are both on form, given that this is only their second invention, adventure together, as is Shakespeare. The only thing that really lets this story down is the Doctor so sulking about Rose, which really irritates me. For God's sake, the Doctor did not love her! But overall, it's the closest we're going to get to a pure historical in the new series. I give the Shakespeare Code an 8 out of 10. See you guys next week.